As the spring semester at USC winds to an end, so does President Pastiti's term as the university's leader. The search for his replacement, however, has sparked controversy. After the names of four finalists were released earlier this week, students and faculty members were upset that none of the candidates for the position were female. Many blaming the 82% male board of trustees for the lack of diversity in the selection process. One of the candidates, former West Point Superintendent Robert Caslin Jr., faced particular scrutiny. Lauren Workman, a second-year student at the university, joined dozens of protesters at the USC Alumni Center today, many hoping to convince the Board of Trustees not to hire Caslin. Caslin is not qualified based on the qualifications presented by the university. He does not have a terminal degree. He has an MBA and the terminal, terminal degree for business administration is a doctor in business administration. Furthermore, his views on sexual assault um, are disheartening because there are survivors on this campus. Every day we have we hear new things about women feeling not safe on our campus and in the area surrounding it. And for him to say that the causes of that are binge drinking is victim blaming and it's not fair to our students. Board members deliberated for several hours, many protesters eagerly awaiting outside for their decision. After several hours of waiting, the Board of Trustees has made their final decision. Of the pool of four candidates that were named as finalists, none will become the new president. Instead, an interim president, Brendan Kelly, chancellor of USC Upstate, will serve as the president as the search continues. Mr. Chairman, I move that the Board of Trustees continue the search for the 29th president of the University of South Carolina and appoint Dr. Brendan Kelly Chancellor of USC Upstate to serve as the interim president. The board's choice to continue the search came as a pleasant surprise to most of the protesters in attendance, many saying that the right decision was made. I was extremely happy while I had my favorites of the candidates. Um, I thought it wasn't a diverse pool, it wasn't a representative pool, and I was actually shocked by their decision. I thought they would have picked one of the four, but I'm extremely happy with what they chose. Other students, however, were not as happy. I feel like it's kind of a cop-out. I feel like they were very valuable and very qualified candidates within the search that they could have gone with, and instead they delayed it. Despite controversy, student leaders are eager to welcome the interim president to the university. I'm glad um, to see how people were able to come out and come together. Um, but like I said, I'm really excited about welcoming the new interim president. Chancellor Kelly will begin his interim term on August 1st, 2019. For SGTV News 4, I'm Ward Jollis.